Hello, and welcome to the video for how do I use the UMG border. I've gone ahead and created a quick example. We'll go over the border parameters and then view our example. The unique elements to the border are the content and appearance, along with the on mouse button up, move, and double click events. We have seen our content and appearance sections before. Content contains the color of the content. In our case, it is the vertical box. If we want to, for example, easily change multiple things, that is what our content color and opacity is for. We have the padding, in case we want to change the inside padding, as well as horizontal alignment, which you can see in effect here, and vertical alignment, which is the same thing. Our brush appearance, shows what it will look like. We have our image size if we're not set to fill. Right now we have it set as a border, which I'm using for our example. And actually let's go ahead and change this to box and we'll see what this looks like. We have our margin, which is our standard margin for our brush itself. And then we have the brush color if we wish to adjust the brush color, which we will see actually in our example. Under that we have hidden a show effect when disabled. Basically if we have disabled this border inside of the behavior section, it will still show the effect if that's what you desire. Let's go ahead and run this example. And basically think of this as we want to create a user interface for a futuristic touchpad. There will be no tactile feedback, so we don't need an up-down animation, but we want to show it toggling. So when I click, it changes the border itself to be blue, and it changes the text to be white, and when I click, it switches back to a disabled state. This is very, very simple because we have standard parameters on the mouse, mouse button down, which I've actually still named mouse button up, but it's mouse button down. If you go over here, you'll notice it's bound to mouse button down. What I do is I simply check to see if we've enabled it or not. If we haven't, I change the text. I change the content color and opacity. This one node allows me to change everything inside of it, inside of the border. So now I can easily change all the text at once. This lets me change the border color and then I flop our Boolean. I'm doing the opposite here if it's false. So let's say for example, I mean I actually like the blue, but um, let's try a purple maybe. Let's try a purple. We'll hit play and you can easily see how we can change it. And if we wanted our text, for example, to be a different color, rather than having to go through and change multiple values at once, we just change one. And now our text change, both of our pieces of text change at once. So as you can see, the border is a nice way to have an image, style it, and then have some sort of content that you can style at the same time for a good visual effect.